Hello there everyone, welcome to Wrestling Roundup, the show where I give you this week's wrestling news, rumors, and recap, so let's get started. On Raw, Kevin Owens had an amazing match with AJ Styles, and Kevin Owens got the victory after Chris Jericho came out and distracted AJ. After that match, Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, and The Miz all came out and said that they deserved spots at WrestleMania to fight for the Intercontinental title, so Kevin Owens came up with the idea to have a triple threat match to determine the number one contender. However, he didn't use those three competitors, he used Sin Cara, Zack Ryder, and Stardust. Well, during that match it turned into a giant brawl between those three and the three mentioned before. And now at WrestleMania, Kevin Owens will be defending the Intercontinental Championship in a ladder match against Sami Zayn, The Miz, Dolph Ziggler, Stardust, Zack Ryder, and Sin Cara. The Big Show and Kane announced that they will be in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Fandango, who hasn't wrestled on Raw in probably almost a year, wrestled a match against Chris Jericho, and he lost. Mr. McMahon came out and announced that if The Undertaker does not defeat Shane McMahon at WrestleMania, it will be The Undertaker's last WrestleMania. On main event, Emma made a re-debut, I guess you could call it, by coming out with Summer Rae to attack uh, Natalia and Alicia Fox, aligning herself with Lana, Naomi, and Tamina. It was announced that Randy Orton will be returning to in-ring competition next month. Stan Hansen has been announced for the 2016 Hall of Fame. Last week, Bobby Roode and Eric Young left TNA. This week on Lucha Underground, it was Aztec Warfare 2 for the Lucha Underground Championship. An amazing match, basically a Royal Rumble that is <clears throat> eliminations are made by pinfall or submission. In the end, Matanza, the brother of Dario Cueto, made his debut and won the Lucha Underground Championship. There's rumors going around that WWE might actually be setting up a heel turn for Roman Reigns. This week on SmackDown, it sounded like they may have piped in booze to cover up actual cheering for Roman Reigns. So if that's true, then they might actually be leading to something, maybe at WrestleMania. They also have Reigns start to come out of the stage and go down the ramp instead of through the crowd. So this, these could be indications that they're going to turn him heel. I personally don't believe it. I think they're going all in with this face of the company, Roman Reigns, and it's just not working. But if they turn him heel, that would be phenomenal. So thanks for watching this week's episode of Wrestling Roundup. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next week. See you later. Damn!